the network. Wow, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Sean and I'm back with video number two of the reprogramming series, which is extremely important for artists who are looking to take control of their destiny and rethink right, about these perspectives that they've been gaining from all this information outside on the internet or just through life because of those, what did I say, factory model schools and the society that's been built upon on it. Just another tidbit for those people who didn't even watch that first video or just a, just a, an additional piece of information. At that time, you have to think that countries are essentially companies, right? And they win and become more powerful based on the industries within them, the, the way businesses are performing. So essentially, the countries were investing right in schools to create workers because it makes a more powerful country as a whole. It's not for the individual, right? Which is no problem. It's understandable like any corporation, any company, whatever. It, it, it makes sense. It's not even the most it's not the most horrendous thing in the world. It actually makes sense for business. As your business gets bigger, you will be trying to be uh, be able to fit people into these little pieces and, and puzzles as well. Like that's just what you're going to do as your business gets bigger. Once you understand that, though, now you can say, oh, that's their system. How do I build my own system? So money, 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 money. Look, you have to spend money and it's going to cost money. There's a lot of people telling you hey, we're going to do this for free or we're going to do this completely organically with no kind of artificial effort, no money spent ever. And there's a lot of artists who are looking for that. They're wasting time looking for that. It's cool to find and stumble across some of these, these things, but just understand, right? We got time and money. Time is going to be the thing that you spend a lot of if you're trying to do it completely for free. It's not completely impossible, but you're going to be doing it for free and it's going to take a long time. Even if you just came up through a YouTube channel and technically you didn't pay anybody to create your videos, the amount of time that actually goes into creating a really dope YouTube channel and blowing up on YouTube is a lot of time. It's pretty much equivalent to working a full time job for a lot of people and even more than a full time job and 40 hours a week for a lot of people. So understand that. Right. So when we get to this money, creating a whole marketing campaign, thinking that you're either going to do it for free or call in a lot of favors. Right. And connections, which is still a different way of trying to do it for free. Your rollout is going to mess up. Your marketing rollout will mess up and it's not really something that you can rely on. You have to understand, OK, we have a combination of this effort, this time that we can put in. We have a combination of these favors we can call in, these connections we can use. But money is something that you got to use. I don't care what people are saying or they can do this completely free or you don't got to pay such and such. No, somebody is getting paid somewhere, even when we're talking about building our music videos or whatever other type of content. So I'm going to leave it at this. One thing that you have to keep in mind as an artist is if you don't know how to get money, it's going to be very hard to spend your um, or build something independently, even if it's not within music. Right. If you could have a hustle. Right. And you have a series of laundry mats. There's, there's all type of businesses and, and artists that I've encountered There's artists that I know that are working in corporate. And then they're hustling over there. Then by night. They're building something pretty dope and it has some dope music and they're doing something online. Then I know artists who are entrepreneurs and truly like they're selling socks and leveling up. Uh, obviously, some artists are selling drugs, right? When figuring it and trying to figure it out. There's artists that have laundromats, restaurants, all these types of things, figuring out how to get money so then they can transfer it and build their career. You got to figure out how to get money. If you say you want to be an independent artist as well, like if you want to be an independent artist and can't figure out how to make money, it's going to be a hard time being an independent artist because the whole thing, even if you actually start to move and blow up with some music, you're going to have to figure out how to redistribute that money and make more money from it. That's the whole game, because this is a business. And we're going to get into that business aspect and what that looks like for you, because the infrastructure is a very real thing. So money is something that you have to spend. I know that sometimes it's more expensive than you want it to be. It's about spending the money as wisely as possible. Right. But check it out. It, here's the simplest way I can say. Don't spend your money unwisely. Right. Spend your money as wisely as possible. 
Now, with that, don't after that one, we can say don't waste any money. So don't waste any money. That's a good way to sum it up. Number two, spend as much money as possible. Why do I say that? Essentially this, right? The, the poor in their results aren't getting a lot, right? And why aren't they getting a lot? Because they're not investing in the right things and you can't put out a little and expect a lot. So one, you still have to actually make sure you don't waste money and spend it unwisely. So, okay, spend it wisely. Don't waste it. That's number one. But still, you have to spend as much of it as possible correctly, meaning it's going to bring you back the results you need long term or eventually. But as we've already addressed, it's not always going to be as cut as dry as I do this and this happens. Right. I take this test and a teacher gives me a gold star and then they say I'm a good boy and then I graduate. That's not how this thing works as an entrepreneur. As a matter of fact, a lot of times you're not going to get a pat on the back. You're not going to get a piece of paper saying you did a good job. And also a lot of people won't even understand the value of the things and accomplishments you're making in the short term. You have to be able to build that out yourself. But I'm, I'm going to get a little bit off that because that's even to a whole nother subject. So we'll stick with this. Understand money, money, money is a real thing. Figure out how to get money. Figure out if it's look making money yourself, uh, building up a hustle or getting investors, however you got to do it. Or if it's just getting a teammate, right? Whatever that has to has to be for you, figure it out. That's it for this video. Let's get to work.